What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Welcome to Tutorials Hub. Today we're covering Creati AI. This is a text to UI tool. Uh, it's AI based tool so it will turn any text into AI immediately and as you can see this is one of the best Figma AI alternative out there, I would say. So it's intuitive, affordable, it's AI powered product design tool, and it's built for, by creatives for creatives. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. Now we will go inside and I will show you exactly, you know, how to use it and how to use its AI feature primarily. But this is similar as Figma. So as you can see, you have a product manager, you have designer, so you can basically invite people to you know, give you a product review or maybe you have like UI, a review on UI so you can invite people to comment and you can also adjust everything designs with AI. So it's really, really cool. You can also add layouts like code and stuff like that inside of it. Uh, now, obviously we will uh, go and review the free version. However, if you wanna go and use the pricing right here, uh, you have for $8 a month, you can get unlimited files, unlimited pages and everything pretty much unlimited. But as you can see, we have three files per team for free and then we have four pages each file and then email customer support and stuff like that. So we're going to start with free one. Uh, as you can see, once you log in, this is how it's going to look like right here. So uh, basically the first thing that you can do is you can go here and as you can see here, you can generate UI. You also have a wizard. So if we click on wizard, we'll be able to select a part of our um, you know, UI uh, element or anything like that. And then we would be able to go and use that to create components as you can see so we can you know even right now we can click and add a component and this is the component and even if we click on it we can adjust the component right here so we can make it 150 right and as you can see it moves right here as you can see so obviously that's that's something that i wanted to show you later on first thing that i wanted to show you is generate ui as you can see here we can basically go and generate a UI. As you can see, for example, we have a, a, a prompt here, a, a checkout page for an e-commerce website displaying product names and Im images. So as you can see, the uh, Create AI will actually go and first it will give us, uh, you know, what to, like a description of what uh, it will generate. So order summary section, price breakdown, shipping information, stuff like that. And then if we hit generate here, as you can see, now you will see the magic happening right in front of our eyes. So we will see here what's happening. So currently it's generating the design. It may take several seconds. So again, it is also fast, quite fast, which was pretty, pretty surprising to me. Uh, but as you can see right now, it's generating. So we'll need to wait a, t a tiny bit right until this is done. And as you can see here, it's exciting things ahead and I think it actually did generate something, but we're still waiting for this right here, which should happen. Okay, so it's actually building the design in front of our eyes. So this is really awesome. So obviously, as you can see, we have shipping information, first name, last name, street address, city, state, zip code. We also have payment method as well here, really clean. And we also have order summary with the item right here. Looks really clean. The UI looks really awesome. And as you can see, we have even uh, here A, B or C uh, UI uh, examples. So that's really awesome. And A is actually this one, I think. So what's so cool about this is you can also copy the code. And now you have the code of this entire UI. You can use you know, um, an app like Lovable, Lovable Dev. And in Lovable, you can actually go and paste that code and then try to do something with that. Uh, and this Lovable will actually provide you with uh, the app, um, the UI, basically it can come to life through Lovable. So, and by the way, for those of you who don't know what Lovable is, it's basically an AI coder. So it will code the app for you based on the code you give and based on the prompt you give. So as you can see here, we have B, this is B, this is C. So C looks quite good as well. And as you can see, we can insert this to canvas if we want, we can also change the style. So this is really awesome. We can change the style, so for example, to blue. And then as you can see, it changes the style to blue. 
We can also edit the styles here, whether it's rounded, corner radius, we can also do that. And then all the corner radius will be more rounded. We can also choose dark mode as well if we want. Then we will need to wait a little bit because again, the AI will do its own thing. But this is by far one of the best UI, uh, UI AI UI, uh, text to UI, I would say programs uh, or platforms. And yeah, this is basically what's going to replace Figma soon. I mean, Figma is great, but Figma does not have literally AI features like this one. So that's why, you know, with this one, you would be able to do this really, really quickly. And also, yeah, you would be able to use Lovable with it or any other AI coder to turn that design into life, into a real application. So how cool is that? So we're waiting here for the dark. Okay, we have the dark uh, design here. Now, obviously, we'll have to again wait to get A, B, and C again. So again, this, this does take some time again. Uh, so we have to wait a little bit. We have here the shipping information, payment method. Really cool. So we have that it's currently processing. So as you can see, we've got the version two, which was the, I think C version. Yeah, it was a C version. So this is a white uh, one. This is a black one. Let's say we want to go and we want to insert this to canvas. We can do that by clicking here. And as you can see now, this will be inserted on canvas. Now let's wait. As you can see, this is our canvas here and we can go and we can change here. Uh, things we can change the smart layout the radius as well uh, change the fill as well and you know selection colors we can even customize it even more which is really awesome so one thing that i really like about this is if we go here to let me just go here to oops let me close this go to wizard we can actually go here and we can copy this right and here it will give us a component right so it will give us a component that is similar to that component so we can add components here if we want or not like for example if i want to go here and if i want to go to wizard i can put a component right here and that could be again it could be like a um, checkout if i want right i can hit enter and it will generate like a checkout. I can go to the components again, checkout. I don't have that. So I have only icons here. So I can click on the icon and I can add it right here if I want, right? Now that's one thing that you want to do. Again, you also have image enhancer. So if we go here and if we select an image on, on canvas, for example, you know, this one, right? We can go next. Okay, let's click here. So if you select an image here, we can actually go and upscale the image or we can remove the background or we can do the vectorizing of the image. So uh, for example, this could be the image, right? We can, you know, choose that. And then we just have to click on it and go to the image enhancer, as you can see, and that's pretty much it, right? So that's what you can do. So uh, this is pretty much uh, just an overview, but I really like this tool. I think this tool has potential. Uh, overall, I would say nine out of 10 in terms of how it can create the designs. If we go here in generate UI again, and if we go back here, actually, I want to go to generate UI, but I want to go here. Yeah. So as you can see, we can create a homepage for website template marketplace. So let's say we are going to create this. I just wanted to show you this one for, you know, for the last here UI design. Uh, just to show you how this works and how it looks like. So as you can see, here it is, header navigation bar, left sidebar. I like the fact that it just shows you what it will generate. And then you hit generate. And then obviously we wait and we generate something really cool. So let's wait a little bit. And this is going to be the last design in this video, just to show you how powerful this tool really is. So as you can see, it started to build out the uh, side uh, categories, filters, and then also this uh, part of the website. Also, we're waiting for feature templates right here, which is going to happen anytime soon. So as you can see, it started to happen. So this looks a really, really cool, really great. I like the UI as well. Um, so it looks on honestly really awesome. Now one thing, obviously something happened right here, but we have B we have a b and the c is being generated still so let's wait for that one as well 
So as you can see, we have here A, B and C. Now C honestly looks the best. I don't know why this happens, uh, why these uh, are glitched like that, but you can or yeah, you can basically go and you can adjust it. So for example, this page is broken. You can say something like that and then, you know, the Creative will actually go and fix that page as well. So overall, I would say solid nine out of 10, as I said before, um, for those of you who want to check it out, definitely check it out. Go to creative.ai and check it out yourself. Also, for those of you who are interested in more AI content on our channel, definitely check out our channel, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.